Okay, guys, welcome back to more Mario Brothers 3. If that fish is. Yep, that fish is here. The infamous fish. That is so. Ow. Whoa, hang on. Hey, what happened to my power up? Alright, that's it. We're just gonna outrun this guy. Eh, eh. Ah! <laughs> let me up, let me up, let me up! Okay, he's dead. He's dead, come back. Book it, man! Just book it! I want some more, do ya? So long, so long! See that freaking fish. Ooh, this castle is very nicely detailed for an SNES game. No, it's NES game. This, this is NES. Wait, which one do we go down to? Ow! Okay, that, that was bull. Screw you, Mario. Whoa! How did I end up here? Here, I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me up. We're gonna be like that, are we? Fine, I'll go to the last possible room. How far does this hallway go? Really? That's just being a dick. Ah! Really? Now there's secret rooms and secret rooms? Here. We'll try on air this thing. I have time powers. Wait, this one that works. Okay. What do you do? Wait, ha! Found a way out. Alright. Wait, boom boom again. Okay, well boom boom's dead. <laughs> yeah, like they put a lot of these things where it's like trial and error, my friend. Trial and error. Yeah, whoa! There we go. Whew, we got another Hammer Brother suit. behind a door. Okay. You know, I was thinking of a platformer that would, like, work like a Mario and Sonic game. So, my idea for my platformer is that you play as two characters, Banjo-Kazooie style. But, the thing is, both characters have different properties. Ow! Hey, okay, what am I getting hit by? The wings? But yeah, like, basically, character A is the normal Mario-ish platformer! 
Character A is Mario, and then character B is Sonic! <laughs> oh, whew, got another star without even having to fight. But yeah, like, character A is Mario, they have like, they have a high jump, and it allows them, hello, game? Okay, there we go. Wait for you to come down. There we go. Character A is Mario. They have a high jump, and they can use power-ups to help increase their options. Character B is Sonic. They have fast speed, but they have great momentum-based platforming. And levels are based around the two of them. So, each character can play through- Ah! Giant fish again! And he barfs up his children? Okay, ow! Hey, back off! Billy, you jellyfish? No, I cannot. But yeah, like, that's my idea for a platformer. Play as two characters, and one of them is Mario, and one of them is Sonic, and the other, and the levels are catered to both of them, and you can switch at any time, mid-level. So you can, like, I don't know, build up speed as the fast character, and then obtain power-ups using the jumpy character and get the high places. This is my idea for a platformer, because, like, I've been wanting a Mario and Sonic platformer forever, and it's just like, it might not happen, dude. So, at best, I can dream. Yeah, they did not they did not expect a guy to have, like, 51 lives in level in, in World 4. Uh-oh, it starts replacing after a while, and it replaced my star. We got, we got, wait, actually, that's, 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 that's pretty good. Hey, you didn't fall. Usually you do. Like, we're gonna wait for you, because I don't even see what's ahead of me. Yeah. Oh, hello. Sorry, dude. <laughs> is basically Mario meets Mega Man, so it's just like, what if we had a platformer that could just be both? And I like Mario and Sonic, but Mario kind of fills that story, and Sonic kind of has been iffy on gameplay. I mean, he's not bad, but it's just that, like, he just can't seem to just make a game be, like, a good couple hours and fun. I mean, yeah, we have Sonic Mania, but it's like, what? That's copying the classic. And not even that much originals in that game. The sprite looks like Sonic 2. The, the, the levels are from the majority of old games. They made new stuff, but like, they, they had to beg for the new stuff. Heck, Sonic Mania 2 might dig from old stuff. We don't know. We don't even know if it's gonna be a Sonic Mania 2. I mean, it'd be dumb if we didn't get one, but, like, companies are dumb. So here's Spike. Okay, when Spike has his Spike Ball, he's... Hey! Hey! Okay, that block pushed me into that other block. Well, that was a short level. Mario levels are really short. No wonder I'm beating pretty worlds pretty fast. Then again, I'm holding down that run button. Maybe World 3 is the longest one? I don't know. Again, I have not gotten this part ever. This is my first time ever seeing this level. 
Okay, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Yeah, he's dead. At least Boo Boo has good animations in the newer game. Here he was just like, Rah! Oh look, Mr. Fishy is back. <laughs> ah! Wait, do I have to go up? Is that the beginning of the game? they haven't made a Mario 4. Now that I think about it, like, Mario has his... Mario has his run. Really? I, I, I can't hit these? Wait! How do you... How are you supposed to get fighties? Okay, now I can grab him. Also, where'd that one-up mushroom go? That was kind of bull game. I never know why level. Okay, that's cool. Oh, gotta go this way. But yeah, like I'm just thinking to myself how to improve Mario. And right now I'm thinking, give him every day. Give him his Mario World jump. Where he spins, give him his his P run, give him his triple jump, give him like the ability to use power ups whenever. Okay, there's a the castle. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Man, these kings cannot catch a break. <sighs> I don't know why, but I really like Mario's crouch animation in this game. <laughs> well, there's another idea. Power-ups based off Mario enemies. Like, what if we had, like, a... Bullet Bill, like, mushroom, and let Mario shoot Bullet Bills. Ah! I know, technically, woohoo! What the? How did I get hit? Oh, come on! That touched my nose, if anything. Oh my god, like, everything's trying to shoot me. Ha! What are you gonna do now, punk? Hmm. Uh, 
guys, I am over here. All right, we got Wendy. Ooh, I jumped right into that like a diddy. There, he's dead. Got it. Okay, we fought Larry, Morton, and Wendy. <sighs> hey, this guy looks like Mario. Oh, dang heavens. I'm back to my old self. Again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. The white block contains music power that will enable you to defeat your enemies. I have enclosed a jewel that'll help that helps protect you. Princess Toad School. Alright, world four. God, I went the right way. Whoa! Everyone's giant here! <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't a mega mushroom. To a inventory slot. I just feel like giving me points is kind of worthless. It's like, yay, I got points, but the points don't really give you anything. Like, it's not like, I got 5,000 points. I get a free life or something, or a special power up. No, it's just, you know, stuff they're giving me. Probably be another level. Whoa, that hammer, bro, was in, was chunky. Ha! Knew you were gonna try something, buddy. Oh, dang it! If I can outrun him. Spinies too? Ah, thank you. Really? Oh come on, life didn't even move. Oh, I, I'm, I am beyond angry. Push me. Uh oh, we got 10 seconds left. Can we beat the level? Yeah! Woo! We got a star! Yay! Okay, guys, I'll see you guys next time with more 
Mario Free. Bye.